What's going on guys, College Lefty Gaming, and today I'm going to have my last upload of, of the day. I'm pushing for World Series. I'm currently at 894 rating. I need this win and this win only to get to World Series. If I lose this one, I could lose a lot of points. It just depends on uh, depends on the matchup, depends on who, if I match up with someone lower th than my division or higher. This was a the after game reward from the last game that I had played. I, I could have got Steven Strasburg, which would have been crazy. That would have been my second diamond post game reward card. I did get Adrian Beltre first, but this guy had a pretty budget budget team. It was a pretty good team as well, though. He could definitely hit the ball, and this Robbie Ray uh, gave me some trouble at the plate with that slow breaking ball. He's got pretty good per nines. This was like the second time I faced him. But here in the top of the first inning, get a nice slow, slow ground ball to shortstop. We're able to beat that out with our creative player, 89 speed. Bryce Harper coming up to the plate. Try to steal second. Got to be very aggressive in this game. Playing a playing for a one run an inning type of deal. Playing to manufacture runs because we need a big lead. Trying to steal third right here. Just barely get in there. And a 0-2 count or two and two count to Bryce Harper. Hanging curveball and I went to swing at that and it just his discipline rating is so high. I I don't think I pressed X hard enough and I my timing was just early so I did miss I did uh, get a check swing there. But Giancarlo Stanton, the man. He picks up Harper and hits a two-run shot in the very first inning to go ahead 2-0 in a World Series game. This is uh, the, the best thing you could do is, is get a big lead, but that was a terrible pitch I just ch I chose to throw there. A low sinker, low and away sinker, first pitch of the game, gets gets rocked into the outfield. Get a 1-0 count on Joey Gallo, next batter up, and he smashes that into the gap. So I'm like, wow, this is uh, not off to as good of a start as I thought it was. Already going to be 2-1 to one game with the tying run in scoring position with nobody out. So first two batters come up and just smash the ball. I'm like, okay, this guy is going to either destroy me or we got to settle down here. So I'm start, I'm start to think, all right, I'm going to start trying to pitch him inside, see what he could do with the fastball inside since that's kind of how he was attacking me with some off-speed inside and fastballs inside. So kind of go with the sinker there to uh, Bellinger, get him to jam shot to shortstop there. We keep... Keep the guy at second base, that's pretty big. I noticed his average with Buster Posey was really low. So I try to really go like at him, try to jam him up. Ground ball to shortstop, easy play for the creative player. 26 speed, not gonna do it. And uh, so we keep it at two to one. I think that was a successful, I think that was a successful first inning. Here's a crazy play. Yadier Molina can't block that sweeping curve. Pedro Alvarez gets the first on a strikeout, wild pitch type of deal. Drop third strike. Vladimir Guerrero comes up to the plate, hits a slow roller. I didn't think I could turn two on that. I wasn't sure what animation I'd get. So I just went for the sure out. In a game like this, you got to just take all your outs and minimize. If he ties it up, so what? I would get the strike out there with Shim against Shimp, which is a huge out with his creative player, or creative player, Robbie Ray coming up to the plate. And this is the worst pitch of the game that I throw here coming up. This is the dumbest pitch I could have selected. A cutter inside. Mess up on the meter and just an easy base hit for him. If I would have went with the sweeping curve right there, I know for a fact he wouldn't have hit it for a base knock to tie up the game. And that's just, I'm an idiot for doing that. But at the same time, I got that, the guy that scored was out. So I struck him out, but it was a wild pitch. It is what it is, just part of the game. Two to two, got to move on. In a game like this, can't get down. You got to just uh, move on. And I know, I know after watching this game play and everything and actually just playing it a little bit ago, I realized that I was like extremely aggressive at the play. If you notice, he, he only has 31 pitches in the fifth inning. Here I thought I, I hit a home run, but uh, not quite out of here. Didn't power swing. I think I had to have power swing with, with Yadier Molina there in order to hit that out. But I had perfect PCI on it, and the feedback did say I was, I was right on it. Good, good. With Just didn't have the exit velocity. But, I mean, you can't dwell on what happens. You got to just keep going. I... I was able to set down a bunch of guys like we, we each had three hits in this game and we had good starts and then that was it we kind of both our pitchers settled down here I'm able to get a leadoff hit and I made a stupid mistake here later in this inning right right here actually I uh I had second base stolen and that was a good pitch to hit too I power swung on it I just tried to hit it to the gap but I couldn't hit, quite hit it to the gap and it's almost like a wasted out and that's not something you want to do I ended up later in that inning, I ended up getting caught stealing with Kemp at third base. He was just gunned by a mile. I had a little bit of lag where on my screen it looked like he was ahead. 
of the play. It looked like he was going to be in there. And then all of a sudden he just is like 10 feet back and he was out. So I didn't really want to include that in, in the gameplay. It was frustrating and it was a frustrating play, but I want to just move on and, and stick to the, stick to the stuff here. So he, he does get a couple outs. I mean, we were just kind of going back and forth. He was pitching me very well, very good player. And I, it was a stressful, stressful world series game for sure. As we moved later on in the top of the seven, two to two, thought I hit that one pretty good. I mean, he was pitching me up in the zone with Trey Turner. I noticed that and I was trying to look there, but I still wasn't able to get uh, on top of the ball and hit it into the gap or anything like I, I had been the past few games. But Trey Turner had been had been clutch for me during this World Series event run or World Series event, this World Series run, rank seasons. And uh, yeah, John Lester, he's still in the game, still dealing. He, uh, I don't think he's given up a hit since, since like the first two innings or whatever when he scored the second run but yeah he hasn't given up a hit since Robbie Ray got that hit the only guy that reached base before that was Pedro Alvarez on the strikeout so just uh if you keep that in mind as this game goes on it's if I kept that in mind as this game went on I probably would have been more frustrated at myself that I let him tie it up with uh his pitcher but at this point in the game I was like you know what this is for the World Series this is for that 90 Robinson Cano I got to play this smart. He came inches away from here from, from getting a leadoff double or a one-out double. Let me go ahead and throw the sinker. That pitch was nowhere near where I got feedback on it. and uh, it, it was good on the meter, but I understand why it was up in the zone. I mean, I'm kind of confused, though, because last year the analog stick, it would be more horizontal, but I don't want to get off on a tangent. That ball was almost hit for an, another hit. That could have been a run. If both of those landed, that could have been easily a run. So a little bit of luck involved here. Get a ground ball to the created player at shortstop. And Yadier Molina comes up to the plate again. And I thought I smashed that ball again. Once again, like, that's the thing, though. Yadier's still good. Like, he he's my guy. He's my catcher. I know a lot of people are telling me you got to get Gary Sanchez, you got to get all these guys. I'm like, yeah, I know. I've worked really hard to get Yadier Molina. He's a brick wall behind the plate, even though I missed that drop third strike. We're in the top of the 10th inning. I'm trying to find somebody who can clutch it out for me. Billy Williams gets a leadoff hit. This guy's also been another guy that is the reason why I was able to make it this far uh, to, to make it to the championship series as well as play this game for World Series. So... We pinch, pinch run Lou Brock here, another guy that just off the bench is a is a machine, man. He's a threat. Trey Turner, oh, man, why couldn't you hit that ball in the gap, score the run? But whatever, we got the sack fly there. Vladimir Guerrero has a hose. I wasn't sure. I was like, you know what, 99 speed, that should be deep enough. Hit it, hit it a lot farther than I thought. But Yadier Molina, man, just as I was saying before, comes up clutch after he walked Harmon Killebrew to set up the double play. Yadier comes up clutch and hits the ball. Then the next guy I got out with, I pinch hit, and, and then Kemp comes up to the plate. Kemp comes up to the plate, try to put this game a little bit more out of reach, and we're unable to do it. So I went with uh, my bullpen was kind of gassed here a little bit. I went with Darren O'Day out of the bullpen. And this is kind of how you double switch. I, double, I wanted to leave Ken Griffey in for defense because of that one game I had before. I, so I take out Ken Griffey. I mean, I put in Ken Griffey for Giancarlo Stanton, but the re only way to do that is by double switching because I had pinch hit Ken Griffey for my pitcher. So the pitcher will be in the four spot. If he does tie up this game, the pitcher is hitting second to, in the next inning, which is not what I want. Or the pitcher hits third. Yeah, actually, the pitcher will hit third. I moved Lou Brock out of there. I have to bring in Joey Gallo to play first base because Lou Brock will, would not catch the ball, most likely. What I could have done is put Lou Brock in right field for Bryce Harper and gone a little bit defensively, more defensively that way. I figured Bryce Harper was just fine out there. And uh, there we get the first pitch, or the second pitch slider there, the first pitch I threw way out of the zone. Darren O'Day has a funky meter, but if you can get it, you can dot up pitches right there. There he kind of messed himself up, I thought. He fake bunts, and, and then he's messed up on his swing there. It was a good pitch to hit. Same with that one. I mean, I don't know how he lays off that slider. That pitch looks so good. I, I'm like, all right, I got to go back in there again. Same spot. Literally same exact pitch. I'm like, okay, one chance, man. Sinker away. Hits a line drive and Trey Turner with good speed, man. I don't know if anybody else makes that play, honestly, besides Altuve or Mookie Betts or something. I don't even know if those guys make that play, but that was a crazy reaction time. And he got to that ball just to win the game 3-2. to two. 
seven hits against his his three hits. He didn't really have much going since the second inning there. But we do get enough points to make it in the World Series as we got 17 there, so we're at 9-11 rating. When I did this, I was at 200, uh, ranked 242 in the world or in this game at the time. Uh, I'm excited to get that Cano. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep him or sell him yet. But I finished uh, 30 and 6 with a 268 average, not the best, but a good fielding percentage and a good ERA. So defense is going to help win games. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment and subscribe. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.